Picture this, the flickering glow of a vintage movie projector casting shadows on the walls, the anticipation that buzzes through the air as the curtains part, and the first notes of an unforgettable melody filling the room. It's a moment frozen in time, a memory that clings to your mind like an old friend. And in that moment, you find yourself transported to a world that's both familiar and enchantingly new, the world of G.I. Blues. For those fortunate enough to have experienced this cinematic gem, the memories come rushing back like a tidal wave of nostalgia. Perhaps it was the very first time you laid eyes on Elvis Presley, his charismatic presence on the screen capturing your heart from the very first scene. Or maybe it was the infectious rhythm of the songs, the melodies that effortlessly wove themselves into the fabric of your soul, making you hum along even years later. And then there were the characters, each one etching themselves into your memory with their quirks and personalities. The laughter they brought, the tears they stirred, all of it became a part of you in ways you never expected. Whether it was the comical interactions or the tender moments that played out, these characters became like friends you could visit whenever you pressed play. But enough reminiscing, because the real magic is in the details that often go unnoticed. Did you know that the original title for the film was Café Europa? It wasn't until later that it evolved into the iconic G.I. blues that we know today. And speaking of evolution, Elvis' character was initially written to be a tough soldier, but the king himself decided to infuse a bit of his trademark charm and humor, giving us the lovable and charismatic Tulsa McLean. As the film's plot unfolds, keep an eye out for the scenes shot on location in Germany. Those picturesque landscapes weren't just movie magic, they were real moments captured in all their glory. In that bar where Tulsa serenaded his audience, it still exists, a little piece of cinematic history frozen in time. So, the next time you find yourself humming blue suede shoes or daydreaming about that captivating dance number, remember that there's always more to discover, more to cherish in G.I. Blues. It's a timeless journey that sparks memories and invites you to relive the magic over and over again. And now, armed with these intriguing tidbits, go ahead and press play on that old classic. Let the memories wash over you as you notice those hidden gems that only add to the allure of the story. After all, it's the nuances that make every encounter with G.I. Blues a unique and enchanting experience. G.I. Blues, a 1960 film, originated during the Elvis Presley craze and marked a pivotal point in his acting career. The movie follows the story of Tulsa McLean, a soldier stationed in West Germany, as he navigates military life, love, and music. Elvis portrayed Tulsa, infusing his musical talents into the film's fabric. The character's charisma and Presley's iconic style blended seamlessly, contributing to the movie's unique appeal. Set against a backdrop of post-war Europe, the film fuses rock and roll with romantic comedy. It highlights the struggle between love and ambition as Tulsa juggles his feelings for a captivating dancer and his desire to open a nightclub upon his return to the U.S. The movie's vibrant musical numbers, including the hit song Blue Suede Shoes, showcased Presley's musical prowess and helped define his image. G.I. Blues not only secured Presley's status as a film star but also influenced popular culture by reinforcing the connection between music and cinema. Its success led to a series of musical comedies for Elvis and inspired a slew of similar films during the 1960s. Beyond its entertainment value, the movie underscored the crossover potential of artists in multiple mediums. Delving into lesser-known facets of the film, it's intriguing to note that the movie was initially planned as a serious drama but was eventually reimagined as a light-hearted musical. Additionally, the success of G.I. Blues prompted Elvis to embark on a significant period of his career centered around film soundtracks. The film's popularity in Europe bolstered Presley's international appeal and contributed to his enduring legacy. The princesses of Denmark, Norway, and Sweden, the King of Thailand, and a host of other royals graced the Hollywood studio with their presence during the filming of the 1960 movie G.I. Blues, where they had the privilege of meeting none other than the iconic Elvis Presley. This regal rendezvous added a touch of glamour fit for the king of rock and roll himself. However, the film's true legacy lies in its role as the blueprint for every Elvis musical that followed. In a brisk 30-minute opening, Presley's character is swiftly established as a wily, fun-loving heartthrob. His encounter with a seemingly immune to charm leading lady, the melodic serenades in a bar setting, and the ensuing bar brawl all set the stage for the cinematic formula that would define his musicals. Notably, the working title Café Europa not only hints at the film's romantic escapades but also becomes its moniker in various European countries. Germany and Italy, among others, recognize the film under this catchy title. G.I. Blues remains a cinematic touchstone that bridges continents and royals, all while cementing Elvis' legendary on-screen persona. Elvis Presley and director Norman Torog's iconic collaboration begins with G.I. Blues in 1960, the silver screen witnessed the birth of a cinematic partnership that would echo through the annals of Hollywood history. G.I. Blues, a musical comedy directed by Norman Torog, marked the inception of a formidable alliance between the famed director and none other than the king of rock and roll himself, Elvis Presley. This celluloid rendezvous was just the overture to a symphony of collaborations, as the duo went on to create cinematic magic together a total of eight more times throughout their illustrious careers. 
As the film's melodies and plot lines unfurled, one unforgettable scene featured the unforgettable tune doing the best I can, performed by Tulsa Elvis Presley's character. Amidst the musical ambience, a subtle yet noteworthy detail unfolded, a soldier selecting a song from the jukebox. Among the options listed, an unmistakable choice emerged, Blue Suede Shoes, Elvis Presley. A nod to Presley's own iconic hit, this cinematic moment bridged the real and the real, weaving a connection between the character and the man who portrayed him. The movie's visual tapestry, though, was a masterful blend of artifice and authenticity. While the main cast's performances were captured on indoor sets and processed screens in Hollywood, the backdrop of Germany lent an air of realism. Exterior shots and locations were indeed filmed in Germany, but a creative mix of stand-ins and processed screenshots seamlessly transported the audience across continents. This fusion of on-location authenticity and Hollywood craftsmanship showcased the dexterity of the filmmaking process. G.I. Blues, an embodiment of Presley's musical prowess and Torog's directorial finesse, not only etched its place in cinematic history but set the stage for a prolific collaboration that would redefine the landscape of entertainment. From the vivacious melodies to the on-screen camaraderie, it served as a testament to the magic that transpires when talent and vision converge. And thus, a legend was born, one that would endure in the reels and hearts of countless admirers. In the realm of classic cinema, the 1960 film G.I. Blues stands as a testament to both the allure of musical comedy and the star power of the legendary Elvis Presley. This cinematic gem, directed by Norman Torog, intertwined Elvis' magnetic presence with a tale set against the backdrop of the U.S., Army and Cold War era Germany. One intriguing facet of the film's production journey lies in the casting decisions that shaped its ensemble. As revealed by the Hal B. Wallis papers at the AMPAS Library, the casting process saw actors like Frank Gorshin, Russ Tamblin, and even Johnny Carson vying for roles. Ultimately, the filmmakers opted for an unexpected choice, selecting an older actor whose demeanor encapsulated a breezy conniver with the girls. This pivotal decision lent the character an aura of season charm, enriching the film's dynamic. Another notable highlight revolves around the film's musical repertoire. A defining moment came when Elvis, in a departure from tradition, sang one of his established million-selling hits, Blue Suede Shoes. Remarkably, this marked the sole instance in his filmography where he lent his vocal prowess to one of his own chart-topping classics. The convergence of his iconic presence and the unforgettable melody added a layer of resonance to the movie's musical tapestry. Behind the scenes, the collaboration of songwriting luminaries Jerry Labor and Mike Stoller shaped the film's sonic landscape. Intriguingly, their contributions included two songs, Dogface and Tulsa's Blues. However, a twist unfolded as they withdrew these creations due to disagreements over royalty agreements orchestrated by Elvis manager, Colonel Tom Parker. This episode offers a glimpse into the intricate negotiations and artistic autonomy that can underpin such cinematic ventures. In sum, G.I. Blues encapsulates a moment in time when music, charisma, and storytelling converge to create a lasting cinematic legacy. From the unexpected casting choices to the bold musical selections, this film remains remains a captivating testament to the multifaceted artistry of the one and only Elvis Presley. Elvis G.I. Blues unveiled, a harmonious blend of music and controversy in the summer of 1960, the silver screen resonated with the melodies of G.I. Blues, a cinematic spectacle that showcased the unparalleled charisma of Elvis Presley. Amid the music and merriment, a single tune, Wooden Heart, emerged as a testament to cultural exchange and artistic dynamism. Wooden Heart, a cornerstone of the film's soundtrack, was not merely a creation of Hollywood's imagination. It resonated with the harmonies of a famous German folk song, Muss I den zum Stadtel Hinaus, originating in the 1830s. The song's transformation into Elvis' melodic embrace brought a new dimension to its storied history. In a testament to Presley's global reach, his rendition struck a chord in Germany, where over 400,000 records swiftly found homes. However, not all quarters were entranced. Bavarian radio and West Berlin radio stations balked, decrying the deliberate sentimentality of the folk-inspired tune and advocating for more serious musical fare. Yet, G.I. Blues isn't just about music, it harbors a maritime twist that has an unexpected contemporary connection. The vessel that Elvis' character boarded, the Bonn, found a novel second life as a discotheque nestled in the quaint confines of Karlsham, southern Sweden. This unexpected transformation stands as a testament to the enduring allure of cinematic memorabilia, albeit in a more exuberant and unexpected form. The film's premiere, marked by a sneak preview on August 18, 1960, in Dallas, Texas, etched G.I. Blues into the annals of pop culture. With its musical tapestry and cultural juxtapositions, the film navigated both melodic highs and societal undertoes. Elvis' resonant performance and the controversy surrounding Wooden Heart evoked the era's complexities, reflecting the collision of entertainment and tradition. In retrospect, G.I. Blues emerges not just as a cinematic gem but as a cultural artifact that wove together diverse strands of music, controversy, and transcontinental connections.
It is a testament to the era's kaleidoscope of influences and a nod to Presley's ability to bridge divides, both musical and cultural, as the bond now illuminates the Swedish night with disco lights and wooden heart persists in its melodic legacy. G.I. Blues endures as a window into a time when entertainment both united and divided. As the curtain falls on our nostalgic journey through the captivating world of the 1960 movie G.I. Blues, we're reminded that every story is not just a celluloid thread woven into history, but an emotional conduit that connects us to the past. This charming film isn't just a symphony of laughter and music, it's a time capsule that carries with it a cascade of memories, inviting us to reflect on the moments when we, too, have danced to the rhythm of our dreams. Perhaps it's the enchanting melodies that stirred your heart, or the mischievous glint in Elvis Presley's eye that left an indelible mark. Maybe you found yourself tapping your feet in rhythm to wooden heart or smiling wistfully at the romantic escapades unfolding on screen. It's in these fragments of emotion that we discover the beauty of our personal connection with G.I. Blues. So, I invite you, dear reader, to take a moment and let the sepia-toned images of this cinematic gem wash over you. What memories does it evoke? What stories do you hold dear? Share with us the echoes of your experiences, the laughter it brought, or the way it wrapped you in its embrace. As the reel ends and the credits roll, let's not allow these cherished memories to fade into the shadows of time. Let's keep the magic alive by sharing our thoughts and stories, creating a tapestry of emotions that transcends generations. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the enchanting world of GI blues. Your time and interest are appreciated more than words can express. Here's to the power of film, to the echoes of the past, and to the stories that unite us across time. Until we meet again, may your memories of GI blues continue to shine brightly in the tapestry of your life. Warmly, your name.